So, Doc, my whole idea was when I started the program was to get these six kids, just do like a, a research study for about six months. Shaq, it's not going to be easy. I never say never. I'm Carlin M. Colker, MD. I'm Shaquille O'Neal's physician and trainer, and he asked me to help him address this childhood obesity epidemic in this country. And if you've got a meeting with the governor, you know, this could be a big embarrassment for you. Kids are full of anxiety, and it's a big challenge. But they didn't have us before. We got it. He's more of the optimist, and I'm sort of more of the painful realist. It's going to be a tough road. Well, let's pull out the all-terrain vehicles then, <laughs> baby. I'm proud of you guys. You guys gave it a lot, each one of you. I see, I see six champions here. You just got to find it inside yourself. When you come back and see me, I want to see improvement. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Doc. Three kids couldn't do sit-ups. Four kids couldn't do push-ups. They flunked. It's kind of doom and gloom here, you know? You know me, I think I can do everything, but this is, this is much harder than I thought it was going to be. At least they didn't give up. I didn't see quitting any one of them. And what's really going to matter is what happens when they leave here and they're on their own. They may be working hard to them, but some people don't really know what it means to work hard. Here with you know what, James and Brito is going to be my leaders. No, I think they're going to disappoint you without a trainer. I'm never wrong. I never fail. Uh, Three, four, five, six. Yeah. I hope the kids are working out like this. We got a room full of champions if they're working this hard. I'm not even worried about them. I know they do. Sure hope you're right. I just think I could use a, someone with them full time. You gave them a program, right? Yeah. They don't follow that. I'm not even worried about it. You believe your kids tell you the truth every time? I'm a superstar. I know they tell me the truth. But if they do lie to me, it's going to be trouble. Coming up. I'm officially here on a spy mission. Good Lord. And we got a disaster to manage here. They're lying to you. Every one of these kids has come up short. I'm officially here on a spy mission. Good Lord. I've come here without Shaq's knowledge, and I do that because we have an obligation to help these kids by knowing what's really going on. He spoke to the kids. Everybody's working hard. I'm not so sure. Kids don't know I'm here. I'm upstairs here. They're right down below. Come on, Chris, show us how it's done. A half mile an hour. Jack's gonna be disappointed, because he's been lied to. And it gets me super fired up. And I know it'll get Shaquille fired up, too. Shaquille? Shaq, hey, big man. What's up, Doc? Well, I want to go over some stuff with you. You got a man? About what? Our kids. How they doing? They doing pretty good? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Um, well, I talked to them. They said they were doing pretty good. Well, so. they're lying to you. Watch it and weep. Four, five, six, seven, eight. What the hell is that? It's absolutely nothing. Fourteen. That's not even a crunch. No. It isn't. Every one of these kids has come up short. Check out James. Look at that. OK? I think that is the slowest I have ever seen a treadmill move. I don't, I don't know if I, I've ever seen something so pathetic in my entire life. Yeah, I dare you to try smashing this against your forehead. That's the kind of seriousness that I look for in a cowboy rodeo clown. Oh, man. I got a headache looking like this. You know, let me tell you, the biggest liar of the bunch, and that's Chris. He checked them off like he did them. That's a lie. And he's off to play dodgeball now. Every day it melts down to this anarchist's volleyball. He doesn't even have the sense not to throw the ball in this girl's face. A girl with glasses. That hurts. It disgusts me. It just disgusts me. Walter is hiding behind that quote. Now, if that isn't disrespectful, I don't know what is. Look at this clown. Walter's absolutely frozen in time, like a woolly mammoth in ice. There, that's him pushing himself. You see this? Now I'm disappointed at myself. A couple of them cried. Oh, I want to lose the weight. I want to do this. I don't want to die and all that. And now in here messing around. We're going to have to turn the heat up on these kids, and it's for their own good. It's boot camp time. When I said to myself, I'm going to let the kids do it on their own, my first thought was, I know I'm not making a mistake. These kids are in terrible shape, and they're not taking it seriously. But after watching the footage and seeing them run around the gym, I knew I made a mistake. 
And I must admit, I'm a sucker father, because my kids do the same thing to me. No more Mr. Nice Guy.